Hey everyone, I'm the Fake Psychic, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Paper Mario. When we last left off, we were about to start Chapter 2. Yeah. Chapter 2. Not exactly my favorite chapter, but that's uh, not that bad. Let's go bugging to Merlees. Let's draw in the background, shall we? Nice and fancy. Let's talk to Tippy. Not yo. You thought I was gonna say go, didn't you? Ha, this is Super Paper Mario. Okay. Go. Koopas. Yay. Stylish. Alright, now these are spiked Goombas. If you've played any other Paper Mario game ever, you'll know you can't jump on them, and if you try to pick them up, then you're just, you know, kind of pounding a spike into your skull, and you don't really want that, do you? Because I know I love putting spikes in my skulls all the time. First, do the puzzle of the areas, which is really easy. It's Switch to Peach and Float. Peach will probably be your go-to character for most of this, unless you need to flip because she can float. I don't know why I did that. And I don't know why the spiked Goomba walked into the water, either. Cheap Cheeps, unlike most other Mario games, can actually be jumped on while they're like that. In the water, but, you know, not on the bottom of the water. Just like that. Good for a little extra points, I guess. Hmm, this, this door is locked. Hmm. Nope, that, uh, there. Oh. Apparently you're supposed to go that away. Generally when something has an arrow, you kind of want to follow it. Generally. Anyway, secret little things here. Big shock. And now let's Koopa hop. Not really, actually. Give me self. Give, give me self. I'm gonna give myself a bit more in assurance against the falls. I can do a really bad Scottish accent. I'm not really good with accents at all. Super combo! Hmm, what's in the box? I bet it's a uh, key. Oh, I'm right. I like pipes. No, really I don't. Um, adventure game logic. Use key on door. Oh my god. I don't know where, why I was doing that. Jump. Okay. Ooh, horse tail. They do what it said on screen, restore 7 HP and cure poison. Really useful considering that I have a tendency to not use a lot of healing items, or not get a lot of healing items. Hello? Oh, okay. No. 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 I'm sorry. Too bad. No freak. Go away. This is not Limbo of the Lost, man. You are not fate and you are not destiny. And if you know what Limbo of the Lost is, I pity you. That was intri uh, intri intriguing. Blah, 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 blah. Gee, I wonder how to get up there. Bet it's not jumping. You're never really gonna see an end of those. Those appear a lot. At least in the early chapters. I don't really remember chapter 5 or 6 onward. Style! What's in the pipe? 
Way to the back. Come on, mini mees We will conquer the world. Where's the re oh, oh, whatever. mini me We will co Oh, we'll fall in the hole. Let's conquer the world, mini-self. It's a door. Oh my god. Hey, there's the rest of the mini mees Come along, mini mees Or mini me again. Just one. The singular form of the word. Those windmills are really big. Intriguing. Oh my god! Oh my god! Giant Princess Rampage! Oh wait, I just spoiled it. No, you didn't hear that. Giant Princess Rampage! There is only one mission, Princess. Attack of the 50-foot Princess. I'm out of giant jokes. Quentin Rampage- oh, okay. Let's go in the door. Oh, wait, uh, yep. I should save, probably, maybe. Maybe, probably. That, huh. <laughs> well, that was embarrassing. Apparently the batteries in my Wii Remote are learning low. And you know who doesn't care? I don't care. And now we have a slow flower. It's very similar to the fast flowers, whatever it was called earlier. Coins! Money! I like money. Money is my friend. Get money. That was interesting. Now there are four doors? Three or four. One, two, three. Enemy. This is a very special enemy. I will... It's a dr Jabus. The idea is that you... Freaking Tippy, you are stealing my thunder here. Basically, you flip behind it, and then you kill it, because you're awesome like that. And anything else will, you'll kind of jump off it. But anyway, you're supposed to go down this pipe first. Not the doors, as I was thinking earlier. Because you can't get to the doors with the uh, blocks in the way. Anyway, this room is completely empty. Hmm. Thank, thank you, Tippy. Now watch me fumble with my Wii Remote, because it decides that it doesn't really want to pick up. Come on. Come on! Okay, there we go. There's a switch! Wonder what happens if we... Oh. Uh, hey, that's what happens when we hit it. You thought I was gonna, you know, tease you like that. And I was. But you don't have to know that. Enemy! These things will split when you, uh... If you let them get... Like that. But you can also, you know, throw them into each other. That's always a fun thing to do. And then here's a box! Oh my god, what's in the box? It's a big box. Oh god, it's an explosion! Good vibes. Good vibrations? Ouch. Oh, okay. I can answer questions. 
Oh my god, all the time. I always wonder if people give presents to Santa Claus. Oh, that is, that is absolutely, that is my trademark gimmick. No doubt about it, senor. I, I... Truer than true, my friend. Testify, brother. I love to shop online. I remember that. Exactly, man. You gotta... You're speaking to my soul, brother. Testify amen. Generic, I don't know. That probably went on longer than it should have gone. Oh, hey, I just noticed the crack. Wow. You know what? Forget that crack. That crack is dumb. And I'm definitely not saying that because this is pre-recorded and I'm just gonna run onto the pipe. I feel really bright now. But, now that we have Boomer, our explodey pixel, very similar to previous Paper Mario Party members such as Bombette or Bobbery, we need to take a uh, look in this deep <laughs> look in these doors. The one that you want is the last one, by the way. Also, we can finally kill these uh, spiked goombas with Mr. Boomer here. Now, if we explode right here on these blocks and fall down the hall and hit the switch. Oh, little interesting thing you can do here. If you set a bomb and then switch pixels, you can pick it up. I... I didn't know that. Well, I mean, I know it now, but... I always just thought it was a random glitch, because you actually can't do it when there's no pixel on the screen, just after Boomer explodes. Now, if, but... Now, if we go out this door... and hop right to the end, we have this special yellow door. With this special cotton candy monster people things. Ow. Well, at least I didn't, you know, get put to sleep or whatever these things do. And that's the end of this section chapter thing place thing. Alright. Sure, I'll save my project. My, my, my project? I'll save my project. Must be Merle's mansion. Chapter two two. Now it may look like those hedges have something. Well, that hedge does, but I don't really care about it. Um, most of these hedges, you really can't do anything. It's just nice, happy perspective screwing and creepy music. This music is very creepy. I don't know how much I appreciate it. This music is less creepy. These things you really can't damage. You can jump on them, and they will damage you. Also, interesting story about this door coming up. Uh, one time when I was playing this, my Wii froze as soon as the uh, door circle ended, and I didn't know it, so I just thought it was taking a long time to load. But, with that said, I think we'll end it off right about here. I'm Fake Psychic, see you guys next time on Super Paper Mario when we explore this mansion some more. Oh boy, I love creepy mansions. Later!